For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's find the tension developing the three cables required to support this street light. The street light weights, I mean, it has a mass of uh, 15 kilograms and the height at the street light sits, in other words, the height of A is 4 meters. So the first thing we have to do is find all the univectors. Univectors. Now there are four univectors, one going towards C, one going towards D, one going towards B, and one holding the light going straight down. To find all these univectors, the first thing we need to do is we need to find all the points involved, which are A, B, C, and D. So A sits at 0 in the I, plus 0 in the J, plus 4 in the K. B sits at 3 in the I, plus 4 in the J, plus 4 in the K. C sits at negative 6 in the I, minus 3 in the J, plus 6 in the K. And D sits at 4 in the I, minus 3 in the J, plus 4 in the K. So to find the univectors, for example, to find the univector that goes from A to B, you need to find first find the vector that goes from A to B. To find the you subtract A from B, and you're going to get that this vector is 3 in the I, plus 4 in the J, plus 0 in the K. Then you need to find the magnitude of this vector. The magnitude is found by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. And this uh, magnitude comes out to be exactly 5 because 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, where you add them is 25, square root of 25 is 5, 0 square 0. So. And the univector, AV, is easily found by dividing the vector AV by its own magnitude. And you get that the univector is 0 0.6 in the i plus 0.8 in the j plus 0 in the k. So now we found the univector AB. We need to go through the same motions to find the univector AC, univector AD, and the univector holding the street light, which is a univector for the weight of the street light. So for AC and AD, you just have to go through the same motions. Find the point that goes from A to C, find the magnitude, divided by the magnitude, you get the univector. So when you do go through the same motions for these two vectors, you're going to get that AC is equal to negative 0.857 in the I, minus 0.429 in the J, plus 0.286 in the K. And AD is going to be 0.8 in the i minus 0 0.6 in the j plus 0 in the k and the univector for the weight is going straight down since it's going straight down on the c on the negative c direction it's just minus 1k so now that you find all the univectors the next step is to multiply them by tensions slash forces so what are the tensions there are four tensions in the system the tension towards c the tension towards d the tension towards b and the tension going straight down towards the light so let me write them down tension a b tension a c tension a d and the tension created by the weight of the light each of these tensions has to be multiplied by its respected univector that we just found. So this one will be univector AV with tension AB, univector AC with tension AC, univector AD with tension AD, and the univector for the weight with the weight. When you multiply the univector by each of the tensions and the weight, you're going to get the Cartesian vector form of each of these, of the, of each of these tensions. So the Cartesian vector forms come out to be 
0.6 tension AB in the eye plus 0.8 tension AB in the J plus 0 in the K for AC is minus 0.857 tension AC in the eye minus 0.429 tension AC in the J plus 0.286 tension AC in the K for AD is 0.8 tension AD in the I minus 0.6 tension AD in the J plus 0 in the K and for the weight is 0 in the I plus 0 in the J minus the weight in the K when you add all these Cartesian, uh, Cartesian vectors together remember this system is in equilibrium therefore you're gonna get 0 in the I plus 0 in the J plus 0 in the K that being said you can easily now figure out the equations with this little table which is built right here now adding all the forces in the I gives us the first equation 0 0.6 tension AB minus 0.857 tension AC plus 0.8 tension AD plus 0 is equal to 0 I'm not going to write the first 0 and you're going to go through the same motions for the J and for the K for the J you get 0.8 tension AB minus 0.429 tension AC minus 0.6 tension actually minus 0.286 plus point uh, let me erase it plus 0.286 tension I'm sorry I was right the first time minus 0 0.6 tension AD plus 0 is equal to 0 and the last one for the K is equal to 0 plus 0 0.286 tension AC minus the weight is equal to 0 now for the weight you can plug in the mass which is 15 kilograms the weight is equal to the mass times the acceleration of gravity which is 15 times 9.81 and that gives you the weight so when you plug that into here and you solve for the tension AC you get that the tension in AC is equal to 514.5 newtons now you can plug this into equation 1 calling this one equation 1 and this one equation 2 and then plug it into equation 2 basically you're replacing the tension AC right here and the tension AC right here and you're getting two new equations for 1 and 2 now let me turn the page when you plug them in as I told you you're gonna get that equation 1 and equation 2 become this equation 1 becomes point C, point 6 tension AB plus point 0.8 tension AD is equal to 440.9 newtons and equation 2 becomes 0.8 tension AB minus 0.6 tension AD is equal to 220.7 newtons now I'm gonna get this new equation let's call it equation 4 I believe let's call it equation 4 and I'm gonna multiply it by this fraction 0.6 over 0.8 each of the coefficients and the uh, 220.7 and the uh, I'm sorry the 440.9 is gonna get multiplied by this fraction and this is the new equation I'm gonna get 0.45 tension AB plus 0.6 tension AD is equal to 330.7 newtons and when you add these two together as you can see the tensions in AD cancel out and this becomes 1.25 tension AB 
is equal to 551.4 you solve for the tension in AB and you get that it is 220.3 newtons and then when you plug that into equation 4 let's say you plug this into equation 4 or whenever you want whenever you see fit sorry this is tension yeah I messed this up when you solve for tension AB you get that tension AB is 441.12 newtons and when you plug this into equation 4 and you solve for the tension in AD you get that the tension in AD is equal to 220.3 newtons and as I said before the tension in AC is equal to 514.5 newtons so final answer, final answer and final answer excuse the mistakes, I'm copying from my notes I'm doing a lot of problems at the same time trying to fulfill all the requests I get on my email so thank you for hanging in there and these are the tensions for all the three cables and remember to if you're on the field always take into account the tension going straight down please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you